The grounds of the Texas State Capitol reopened to the public this week after a lockdown that lasted for months. The grounds had been closed since May following protests after the death of George Floyd. West Rappaport explores questions about the reopening as lawmakers prepare to return to the Capitol for the legislative session. As the sun came up Wednesday, barriers blocking the Texas Capitol grounds came down. Early risers capitalized on renewed access. I'm just so happy to be here. You know, I feel like this is huge for our city. This is huge for our state. The building was closed in March in an effort to slow the spread of COVID-19. The State Preservation Board, which maintains the grounds, closed the area around the Capitol after spring protest injured state troopers and damaged the building. It's still unclear why the grounds stayed closed since. The Department of Public Safety forwarded our questions to the Preservation Board, who said it was DPS's recommendation to keep the grounds closed, deeming it the most sustainable, effective, and safe course of action to protect state property. The state put hundreds of Texas Army National Guard soldiers on standby at major landmarks like the Capitol last month in case election-related protests turned violent. Here, they didn't. During any legislative session, hardly a day goes by without a demonstration of some kind. We don't yet know if those events this session will trigger another closure. Lawmakers on both sides of the aisle say opening the grounds for the taxpaying public should have happened sooner. It's a, a step in the right direction, but look, I'm going to oppose any restrictions on access to your capital. I don't see much public health risk for folks um, uh, having access to the grounds uh, if they're not gathering indoors and not gathering in large groups. Um, so I think it's a long overdue decision. I'm Wes Rappaport for State of Texas. Lawmakers have not identified a timeline to reopen the Capitol building to the public. The first day of the upcoming legislative session is January 12th. Some Republicans in the legislature want the building reopened before then so that people can have access to their lawmakers. At the end of the day, we have to open the building and I'm going to oppose any restriction that gets in the way of that building opening and gets in the way of people's voice being heard because the taxpayers have to be heard. We only meet every other year, so it's critical that everyone has the opportunity to make their voice heard loud and clear. On Thursday, Governor Abbott told reporters that the Capitol will be reopened, but he did not give a time frame for when that will happen. The Texas Department of Public Safety is asking lawmakers for more money to keep the Capitol safe. Last month, DPS submitted a budget request that included more than $39 million for enhancements to Capitol security. Most of that money would go towards staffing. The agency would use more than $36 million to pay 65 troopers, five agents, and two analysts. DPS also wants $1.8 million for new equipment. That includes panic button notifications, video cameras, and gunshot detection capability. The agency's request includes $1 million to enhance bomb dog capabilities throughout its canine unit. They call it a game changer. A Texas doctor and a group of philanthropists found a new way to test for COVID-19. Hear how they're slowing the spread and getting students back in the classroom. Pandemic pass or fail, solutions for education equity coming up.